So no. first thing is we had to enter the patient details. So we are creating for the spec CT. Protocol for acquisition, pro not protocol creation, acquisition, how to acquire the spec CT scan. For example, bone tomograph, tomo image. So first thing is to enter the patient details, patient name and then patient ID. These star marks, mm, star marks name. is mandatory. Any dummy name and things. Yes. This one is optional. So next is to select the protocol. So from the more tab, if you go, you can see the user protocols and the G factory protocols. So this time we select the uh, suppose whole body bone scan and click OK and then uh, save and acquire. You will see the patient uh, whole body scan then followed by tomography. So if you are taking whole body scan after the whole body is completed without any uh, uh, stop, if you are not aborting the scan, whole body scan, then automatically it will come to the tomo option and on the whole body itself using the smart console screen you can plan the uh, tomographic area but if you want to do separately tomography and you have already done whole body or not doing the whole body directly uh, tomographic image then for the demo purpose I am just reducing the scan time so let's say one second and here it is acquire CT so if it is selected it will do a CT acquisition after completing tomographic images so CT range is full here so before you start full and partial so full full and partial is like CT if you want to cover the entire detector size like detector size is 40 centimeter if the same area you want to acquire CT also that means full but partial is like if you are scanning some small area for example parathyroid neck then that covers only a small area. So if you want to reduce the CT area to reduce the do dose, you have to select the partial option. And this option will be activated when we are going into the ah. smart console for CT planning. Yes, right. So which right. area we want in that we can Yes. Plan. So there you can plan the CT area. Then in the location option, there is a number of AFOV, like if you want, this is currently one bed. So if you add two beds, three beds, four beds, five, like four beds. So maximum is four beds it can take. No, it may take more than that, depending upon the overlap you are keeping. For example, overlap if you are keeping 10 or less than four beds. This 10 is 10 percentage. Uh, if you are keeping 14 and 15, then it will take 5 beds. Five so, beds maximum 5 beds is possible. 153. 153. It, it is for spec CT. But if you want to do only spec, then uh, it will allow up to 200 centimeters. Up to 200, yes. Okay. And around 7 beds. Right. 7 to 7 beds, right. 4, 5, 200. Yes. So 6 beds it will cover if we have a little overlap. Uh, so, uh, increasing the overlap you can cover in 5 to 6 beds and then table out means uh, if you are keeping multiple beds you select the table out so patient first bed then table out second bed like that scan will be done and then view angle total angular range all that you can change uh, so by default it is 3 but for this demo purpose, I am just keeping it 15 so that I can finish the scan. Every 15 uh, degree angle it will? Yes, normally we take at 3 degrees. Okay. But just for demo purpose, I am keeping it 15. Okay. Then after seeing all these parameters, uh, we must click apply option here. Okay. And after clicking apply, here is a message, press set to move to predefined location the machine we need to go and press set. yes so you need to go and press set so 
so after you press set from the from the machine room the table will go to the scan range area and then from the console itself you have to press go to start the scan you have to press go to start the scan you have already pressed yes now the scan is started this is the status screen where we can see the scan progress it will show in the percentage scan completed and emission and ct both separately you can see the scan time to go so this is the first step out of toll now it is showing press go to move to ct position so we have to go inside the machine room and press go again and keep on monitoring the patient so that patient is not touched by the machine or the patient safety now automatically console will switch to ct from nuclear machine so we kept only one bed now okay so this is the ct scout which is optional if you want to take a scout then click confirm if you do not want to take a scout you have to click next series, next series. So press the move to table. Now press start. Now CT scout acquisition is happening. It's done. Then click next series for CT planning. So this is by default it is coming equal to the tomographic image so even if you are not changing or adjusting it it will cover the entire expected expected detector range area so but if you want to reduce it you can reduce also uh, yes so you can increase or decrease but if you are decreasing uh, then the expect then attenuation the corrections will not be done to those, those areas area where there is no CT. So these are the CT parameters. If you want to change anything, you can go and change like CT slices, thickness, all that. This parameters reconstruction options. You can change the CT slice ASR option. All these if you want to change otherwise it is already set and then click confirm and press move button on the keyboard. So table is moving to the start location and now press start. Now CT scan is started. It is taking around 20-23 seconds. What is this ALXR? X-ray means exposure area. So now you can see the scan is done. So you can click CT acquisition completed. Now automatically you will go back to the nuclear machine screen. And SPECT and CT both are completed. Now you can close the session and uh, 
you can remove the patient or if you want to take any additional views that, you can, can, that can be continued now on the right side the smart console smart console you can see the data here and you can see the respect to raw data so the system is waiting for the ct data once the ct data comes we can uh, reconstruct using iterative recon here and then we can send it to the workstations for further processing so basically this is the use of this smart console Yes, so a smart console converts the uh, expect data into a pet like transactional data and it sends across other workstations. So all the workstations will get same parameter uh, scan data and you are not required to reprocess in the Zelleris workstation because it is already reconstructed data. So you have to just select the data and view it there won't be any reconstruction the raw data you can also transfer directly from here to workstation but there you need to reprocess so three workstations three users will process it may process it differently so the better better way is to reconstruct here automatically or manually both options are there reconstruct and send it to all other workstations so the doctors will see same images everywhere so that is the utility of a smart console also uh, a smart console uh, can be remotely accessed from any other department within from the hospital or you can also connect from outside outside the hospital suppose you are sitting in some other building outside the hospital through network you can access the smart console and if technologist is doing the scan in the console and he want uh, the doctor's help in planning uh, spec CT then the doctor can see what is happening with the console they can interact they can chat also they can send the messages from a smart console to the doctor's computer they can interact and send the message messages to each other so, how, where are those options? Okay. so these are the messages here these are this is the chat option so if your doctor have uh, their system is on and doctor is sitting there he will get receive this message how will this uh, re how remotely can this be accessed so it's simple the doctor you have to just uh, you just need a windows pc and you have to open the internet browser and in the browser you just type the directory and automatically you will see the same screen there the also. It is, it is required. Uh, that directory you will be provided a directory you just copy and paste in the uh, browser address bar and okay. click enter you will see this so it will be browser based it's yes. browser based yes okay. it is browser based through hospital network you are seeing it's like a shared screen From outside hospital also you can connect. The only thing you should have a network service through internet so that you can enter into the hospital and you can access from outside. That is what happens in the other countries like uh, Europe and other countries where consultant is sitting some other building and some technologists want the help in help planning the scan. They can directly get the help without the physical presence of the doctor. Okay. So has the data come? so you know so you have to go to the this option and you need so it's still waiting so once data is available you can do the further reconstructions